Hello everybody, jobity 87 here and today we're going to do this like smoky eye look situation with the Persona Identity 1 and 2 palettes. So I decided to do a combination of both of them just in case like you have the first one. So you use some colors out of it and maybe get a little inspiration. And then if you have like the second one or whatever, if you want to get the second one then you'll see what it looks like, you know, with the palette or whatever. So, um, this is the old one. As you can see, mine is lightly loved because I don't really like the color story in here. I like the more smoky tones, but otherwise I'm not really like a fan. Like you're really close to the edge of the camera. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is the Identity 2 palette. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. I still have my little card. It was up in the mirror when I was doing my makeup when I first opened it, so that's why mine is still here. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't be in here. I don't usually keep stuff like that because it's like it's about the palette not the you know card um and now it doesn't want to come out what the okay thank you so this is what it looks like and needless to say it was like a bluish gray shade so we all knew i was going to use that right okay i was inspired by some of this look that she did with this she said she was inspired by what's what's it? selena gomez so i figured i could use a combination of both palettes because i don't think this brown here is necessarily dark enough for it as dark as i would like my crease colors to be but i remember that there was a darker color in this palette so i used um fearless as my crease shade and then i mixed mavericks with that brave dark color and then i just put um the independence color all the lid and then i put bombshell on the lower lash line and seductive in the crease so i mean in the inner corner so let's get started i don't be looking crazy as hell going out to breakfast at 7 a.m with this type of eye look but you know like y'all know how i am i do not care i'm all about my smoky looks so that's what we finna do so i'm gonna take fearless to start off with out of the first palette and i'll swatch some of these at the end too just so you can get an idea oh yes look at this smoky look Girl, now I feel like I put way too much in the under corner. Oh, hello, pigment. I forgot how pigment to these were since, you know, I, um, had not used it. So I'm definitely going to have to blend this out. But it's okay. I'll make it a nice little smoked out faded situation. I should have tapped it off. But like I said, I forgot because it's been so long since I, you know, used one of some, um, bigger palettes. I feel like the smaller ones give just as good pigmentation. But because they don't have, like, super dark colors in it like this, it's like it's not going to take me as long to blend out. Plus, I can always bring up the um uh the shimmer shade on the lid to like cover up this huge dark situation going on here but that's how if it look like i got a black eye at um nine o'clock in the morning i'm going to break this could be out here looking crazy oh well such is life moving on take me as i am i have nothing at all so this is what we want this is the eye look i'm going to do with this palette this is the palette i was filming with today so shh, this is it Okay, so that's pretty blended out. Um, I got this brush. I'm gonna just go ahead and blend it out some more with this as well. Hoping it did not, yeah, that's knock it down the color by a lot. It's diffused it quite well. I don't know if they make this next brush anymore. I know they took it off of Ulta, but I believe they still have it on their website. So if you want to get this blending brush, it's the number 16. You can um look into that. Um, next, I'm gonna take the two colors I told you about. So we're gonna take Brave out of this one and Maverick and mix them together. Now you do get kick up and y'all know how I feel about like kick up in the pan or whatever. I hate this. I mean I not necessarily hate the kick up. I just hate when it's like fall out all over my face. But these aren't doing that and I used like dark colors so I'm excited about that. Because man if I had like fall out of my face. Y'all know I've been feeling some type of way. Even though I normally do my eyeshadow um, before I do my face. But you know in videos I can't do that. Because you know, I figure y'all want to see a little face and see how it's finished. So I don't you know do that. Plus we know I'm not going to edit just to put um my face on and then come back and tell you what I think about that so there's that too so I'm just blending these over the top of this with the blurred crease brush by what do you call it um Persona Cosmetics I mean uh, by um Dominique Cosmetics um next I am going to go to the outer V and for the outer V I used Limitless like I told y'all about this black one so go ahead and start tapping that in here as you can see there's a pretty pigmented black I mean I feel like it's um, looks pretty black on me. It's not doing like that turning like an offish gray type situation, which I appreciate. Maybe when I blend it out, I'll do that because I feel like a lot of blacks do that when I blend it out, then you know, it doesn't look black anymore. It looks like more gray. But I'm fine with it looking grayish too because it's like it'll go with the vibe that I look as grayish, blue, brown, whatever situation. So yeah. 
I wish I had put my I wish I did one eye first at least like when I had did all that like I could clear it up because it's like I feel like I'm not really cleared up that well I went in with the um blend brush I used on the other eye underneath here just so you can like try that out but Okay, so that's what's looking like in the crease. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to cover it up with the um, blue shade in the pencil anyway, so it you know, doesn't matter. Um, let's go ahead and put in the pencil. I'm taking my shadow brush from Marc Jacobs and I'm going to um, just go in on the lid. It looks pretty shimmery and nice on its own. It's going to be a nice, like, satiny shimmer. Like finishing, although I don't generally like satins. I saw some of the video and she says you can like spray it and get it to that foil, like metallic shimmer look that I prefer. But since we're going out of the daytime, we already going out of the daytime with smoky eyes, you know. I figured we could just leave it as is for right now. I'm just going out to breakfast, so I don't need to, you know, be doing all of that. I've been wanting to get into more lawless beauty, you guys, but I feel like whenever they come out with something, it's not necessarily catered to me like the two bronzes she just came out with. I'm like, that doesn't bronze my face. Like, so you made this bronzer for like Kelsey Brianna J and uh, Makeup Shape because I, I can't bronze with this bronzer. Like, the model they swatched it on, like, it wasn't working for her either. So I was like, how you gonna swatch it on her and don't even look like it on her and then you try to sell it to me? Like, what? Like, no. It's like, I want to get more into the brand, but I feel like you don't ever make anything for people with my skin tone. You just kind of stick to, like, the light and medium. And I mean, I know a lot of people do that, so it's like, not that it's not something I'm not used to. It's just more of, you know, like, I would like it to, you know, to eventually stop and you make stuff for everyone, not just two different sets of Caucasian people, and that be it. You know, that, that would be nice and helpful. Anyway, we're going to go back to this palette now, and I am going to take bombshell and put it on the lower lash line but first I will put seductive in the inner corner since that's what I did on the other side I feel like you don't really see it though but my mom doesn't really like the inner corner highlight situation I figure since the eyes are so smoky and extra as it is I'll you know tone down the inner corner highlight today because you know we all got a lot going on if y'all want to notice um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put some waterline or not I feel like I'm going to put a black eyeliner in the waterline but I'm like I don't know if I want to do that and like do more I feel like I want to put main line it's a like really dark cool navy blue in the waterline but since it's only eye look I plan on doing today I might wake up tonight and do some more I don't know um we'll see but yeah so as you see I bought this one way further down than I did with this one but I, since I have the dark circles underneath my eyes I figured you know like I try to like hide them in the creases as much as possible that's why I put like my lower lash line so low down and blow it out so far down but I feel like it would look better if I did a shimmer I mean a uh, matte and then a shimmer underneath there but it's too late now we've done it and this is it because I gotta be somewhere soon so I don't have time to be switching it and I want to try to blow at least one of these before I go and it's probably gonna be this one just because like y'all know how I feel about Persona Cosmetics I love their stuff so I want to definitely make sure I got that video up first so talk about this palette and swatch some of these pretty colors in here so y'all know how I feel about these colors like kind and loyal I can't use them they're not useful to me I might be able to use loyal as to blow um to blend and diffuse like the crease color I put in but like kind literally serves no purpose for me but I'm always complaining about stuff like that so we're just gonna move on um honest is okay I probably wouldn't ever use it maybe if I'm trying to do like a bright pink look and I just need a pink like I could use this whole little section and make a look um, that color, like I said, isn't useful to me. Y'all know the colors I'm excited about. Independence, Driven, Confidence. I'm actually kind of excited about Unique, too, even though I don't really use colors like that. But, you know. Um, oh, that's what I want to talk about. So, a lot of people have been comparing this palette to a lot of different palettes. So, I got a few palettes in the drawer here that I've been hearing people compare it to. And I and I got a couple that I thought it was a good comparison to. So, we're going to talk about the ones people have been comparing it to the most. And then we'll end with the ones that I um, compared it to. So... The first two I've been hearing, yeah, it's actually only two, that I heard compared um, the most is Chocolate Gold. So let's look at Chocolate Gold. And let's look at Sonus Palette. So, I mean, there are some similarities, like with the purples and with the gold and the green. 
but I don't feel like anything else really um, compares in here. So out of those three shades compared to her whole palette, I feel like you could still get her palette even if you already have this one. Even though this one's been going on sale for quite a bit. Oh yes, I just got the whiff of the smell of chocolate child. Yes. Okay, but then I heard other people compare it to um, Soul X's Extra Spice palette. So let's compare it to that one. Um, again, um, let's see. I don't feel like it has a lot of colors that are similar to it. I mean, like, it has a goldish one that's similar to it. I should probably hold it up where y'all can see. It has a goldish one that's similar to it. It has, um, does it have anything else? I don't feel like it has anything else that's similar to Sonus besides maybe the color, like, Brave and maybe Hot, I mean, Chocolate Orange. But Chocolate Orange is lighter than it. And the black in here is not nearly as black as Sonus Black. So, I mean, I don't see how this compares when it's only, like, two shades look similar to it the chocolate gold one had at least three shades that were similar to it so let me hold that one up again because i don't think i held it high enough for you all to see it the last time so yeah this is chocolate gold and i don't think i held about some palette and fold all the way back like the old one did i did appreciate that especially when you have to hold them up in videos like that but see the purples are the same the greens are the same and maybe like the gold shade maybe the brown shade but that's like um I would say this is the closest dupe I have seen to it so far. Um, I also feel like the Sir John one is actually a pretty good um, similar palette too as well. Because it's like it's got that bright gold. It's got the blue, purple, green situation going on. It's got the same like colors except the transition colors in here I feel like are you know more workable for some of my skin tone. As opposed to this one which is like, like I said these two shades I wouldn't get much use out of. So... There's that. I, I came up with this one myself because I thought it looked really similar. Um, I also think that it's really similar to this Charlotte Tilbury one. I mean, not as much as the other two I just showed you. Um, yeah, the other two.